I am now using AI to do exploratory data analysis, and I'm going to share how you can get your own AI exploratory data analysis copilot in this video. So here's what we're going to go through today. You're seeing this new EDA copilot that's part of my AI data science team. And I'm going to share exactly how to get this up and running so that way you can make really cool reports like this one right here, all with the power of AI and it's gonna do it all for you. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna help you speed up your EDA 10 times or more. And this is really powerful. So um, to, to get started here, this is what we're gonna to build today, or I'm gonna share uh, how to use it at least today. And then I'm probably gonna have a, se a separate video where I'm gonna share how to build this thing or how I build it. So this is all part of my AI tips newsletter. So you're seeing this code base in here. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is uh, sign up for the newsletter. It'll get you access to all the code. We're working out of the O14 AI Exploratory Copilot app today. That's this file that I have running. I also have it um, running with a streamlet right now. So um, here's the way it works. Uh, and that's what I'm gonna cover in this video. We'll have a separate video that shares exactly how to build this for yourself. Okay, so, so the first things first, what we're gonna do is you're gonna to go to this app.py file. Um, I'm going to open up a terminal and if I do terminal, new terminal, all I'm going to do is do streamlet run 014 exploratory app, app.py. Okay. And what that's going to do is it's going to fire up the streamlet app that I built right there. Okay. And we can use demo data. And what that's going to do is it's going to pull data from this churn data into my data folder over here. Uh, you're going to enter your open AI API key. Alternatively, you can use a different CSV or Excel file. If you wanted to, if you have a CSV or Excel file, you want to, um, you can just upload it here and you're going to need an API key. So you're going to go to openai.com. You'll go to API platform and API login. You'll create an account. And then over here in the dashboard, if you go down to API keys, you'll just create one of these, all right? And then once you get an API key, what you'll do is you'll put that right in here. I have my own, I'm gonna drop it in and we will be ready to go, okay? So once, once your API key is acknowledged and it'll validate it and it'll make sure it works, then what we can do is we can pick different models. We're just gonna use GPT-40 for this tutorial. And then we can ask, some questions about this data set. So we can see um, this is what our data set looks like. We can do all sorts of things. So first thing to be aware of is that this is using an ex my new exploratory agent. It's an exploratory tools agent. I actually did a previous lesson on the, the exploratory agent. That's the O13 that's over here. But a key thing to understand is this is a tools agent. So it has access to a bunch of tools as opposed to, it's not like a code generator agent. So if I ask it a question like this, where I'm asking it, what tools do you have access to? Return it in the table. These are the tools that underlie our underlying functions that this agent has access to, and we can ask questions and it's gonna use these tools. If, if it finds a tool that's relevant, it'll try to answer that question with one of these tools. So this particular agent, it has access to five different tools. One's for explaining data, one's for describing data, one's for visualizing missing data, one's for doing co correlation analysis, and one's for generating sweet viz reports as a type of EDA report. So I'm actually gonna skip to the bottom here. So we, we just did this one, but I'm gonna skip around a little bit because I, I wanna show you some of the coolest stuff first. So the first thing that I'm gonna use this EDA Explorer Copilot for is to generate what's called a sweet viz report. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna use the sweet viz tool and it's going to create this full report. And we can actually click this full screen button. And what this does is allows us to analyze different associations that are in our data set. We can analyze churn, we can, which is one of the, the key variables. We can see you know, what the effect is of gender on <clears throat> churn. We can see you know, what the effect of some of these other variables like senior citizen, if it's senior citizen is one, they seem to have a much higher churn rate versus not senior citizen and so on. So it makes this full EDA report, which is amazing. And it <clears throat> uses this underlying package called SweetViz to build that for us really quickly. So the, the thing that the AI does is it knows based on my question where I'm saying generate a sweet viz report for the data set, it knows to how to set up and use that function 
to create that EDA report. And that's pretty cool. We can do another one. So let's generate the correlation funnel. So correlation analysis is something that I always do. All right. So I'm going to use this EDA tool, this EDA copilot to help me quickly switch from analyzing the EDA report now to analyzing some of the correlations. Now behind the scenes, it's what it's done is it's run this thing called a correlation funnel. And in order to run the correlation funnel, you have to give it a feature that you want to target in order to be able to get all the correlations related to that. So we're going to target the churn feature, which is the target variable. That's the thing that we want to detect whether or not there's relationships in our data from these columns based on churn. Okay. So what it does is it gives us a data set back and you can zoom in on that data set right here. But what it also does is it gives us this handy uh, visualization. Now it's a little bit tough to see. So I'll, I'll zoom in on it. We'll zoom in a little bit, but it's got these dots and I can see that contract here. So contract month to month is highly correlated with churn. I can see that online security. If a customer has no online security, that has a high relationship to churn. Conversely, I can see that if they do have no internet service or if they have online security, that is correlated with not churning, which is when you know people leave the, the, the company. All right, so very cool. Here, I'll zoom back out a little bit. And uh, so that's the correlation analysis. It uses this tool called Correlation Funnel. Now, real quick, you do have to have some additional libraries that you might not have. I have all that stuff listed here in the requirements file. So make sure you have all of these installed if you want to be able to use this tool effectively. All right, we'll do um, some a uh, couple other things. Let's see. Well, I'm going to skip analyzing missing data for now. We'll come back to that. This data set that I'm using just doesn't have a whole lot of missing data. We can do some really cool stuff with the explain tool. So if you remember the, the list of tools that we have access to, we have this explain data. So something that I normally do is just, you know, we can say something like explain the data set. And this is a very common starting point for when you're doing EDA, or at least when I'm doing EDA. So I want it to explain the data and what it's going to do. It's going to run and it'll go through and actually explain this data set for me. And it'll help, help me learn and discover insights about the columns and everything. All right, and there we got the explanation. So this is what explaining the data set comes back with. The data set overview it gives you the shape of the data set, 7,000 rows by 21 columns. These are the data types in the data set. These are the missing values. And you can see that there's no missing values in here. So it's a complete data set. Unique values. So it's got different values for each of these different features that are inside of the columns of the data set. So like, for example, payment method has four unique values. Paperless billing has two unique values. Yes or no. Churn has two unique values. Either they churned or they did not churn. And then you can get some samples of the data set. You can get the data description and so on. So, and it tells you which tool is being used here. So this is an awesome application. I, you know, I'm excited for you guys to, to test it out, your exploratory data analysis copilot. Uh, now that you've seen kind of what we have going on here with this tool and how to use it, I just want to qu uh, quickly reiterate how to get this installed. So how you're going to do that, once you sign up for the newsletter, you're going to go to this folder here. That's 014 AI exploratory copilot app. And then the app file is what we're going to run, but you need to make sure that you have these requirements installed. So you're just going to install these, um, these packages, the AI data science team. So I'm going to point you to that right now. That's this application. That's this, this full AI data science team that we are, that I am building. And inside of there, I have all of these different, um, these, these different agents that we can use. So the one that this function uses is right here. It's called the exploratory tools agent. Well, tough to see in this image, but it's one of the new, it's one of the new agents that I've just added here. So right here, this exploratory tools agent, if you want to see examples of how to use it, you can click that, but you need to have this installed. So you're going to, to install it, make sure you go through the installation process here, which right now, what I want you to do is to install from GitHub and that, that you're just going to run this line of code in order to install that application or install that software. And then the other thing is you want to have Streamlit, SQL Alchemy, Pandas, uh, Async IO, Langchain, Langchain OpenAI, Langgraph, OpenAI. And then these three, you might not have ever heard of missing no sweet viz and PyTime TK. These are used for creating some like the correlation analysis. For example, that comes from PyTime TK. Sweet Viz is the Sweet Viz report. Missing note is the missing report. We didn't see the missing report because we, 
you know, this data set doesn't really have any missing data, but I'll, I'll share that one in an upcoming video. Anyways, so this is the app file. We'll go through this at some point, probably in another video, just because it is pretty lengthy. It's like 400 plus lines of code, and that's just a lot to cover, you know, and also how to use the, the app. So yeah. That should get you going. And if you wouldn't mind, I do have an ask. If you if you wouldn't mind giving my GitHub repo AI data science team a star. We have over we have 1,261 stars currently. So if you wouldn't mind, just give it a star. That's my only ask. I do all of this stuff and I want to get the word out on it. So that, that really keeps me going when you start it. All right. And I will see you guys soon. I will have another video out on how to build this exploratory agent probably next week. See you soon. Bye-bye.